kids, what's better than one birthday a year? And what's better than one episode of Recess? That's right. Now you can see Recess twice a day, along with Disney's Doug and Sabrina the Animated Series. All right! Every weekday and Sunday on Disney's 1-2. Weekday mornings starting at 7 and Sundays at 9 on KC29. Here's some Toon Trivia. What's the name of this guy's show? Doug. Doug? Doug. Doug on Disney's 1-2. Weekdays and Sundays on UPN. Lots of things about Silent Day. Wish I had the other days. Things got me and found a way one. As well as more. My name is Lee Juicy Friday. Which is that day? Lee Juicy Friday, Friday, Friday. More. Travel around till I found one. Clear to me that it was done. Big trouble. Finster hasn't canceled recess since Billy Stoller short sheeted our support hole. She was limping for three days. Dead hunt! This week, we've seen a crime wave unparalleled in Third Street history. Someone on this playground is responsible for breaching nearly every rule we hold sacred. Even the cannibalism taboo? Evidence connects a single mastermind with these crimes. One kid who's done it all. Written graffiti, mocking the faculty, defaced restrooms, stolen food from the cafeteria, and made a complete mess of the mess area. This someone will be going directly to Principal Prickly's office. This someone will receive severe punishment befitting these atrocities. This someone is Gretchen P. Grundler. Miss Frimster, Gretchen's the best kid in school. Yeah, you're making a terrible mistake. Tell her, Gretchen. No, guys, she's right. Take me away, Miss Frimster. Gretchen, what are you saying? Don't worry yourself over me anymore, TJ. I'm nothing but trouble. March, young lady. Gretchen going bad? It can't be. Down is up, black is white. The millennium approaches. I know what you're asking. How did it happen? How did Gretchen Grudler, a straight-A student, end up taking the long walk to the principal's office? It's a story as long as it lies at God's own world, but without the free refills. We've been expecting you, Grundler. Take a seat. Principal Prickly will be with you in a moment. Well, well, if it ain't goody two-shoes, Grundler. What'd you do, Grundler? Get too many A's? <laughs> I'm not in the mood, Murphy. Uh, come on, Grundler. Where's your sense of humor? When you're about to face the man, sometimes that's all you got. So what you in for? It's a long story. <laughs> like we're going somewheres? She had a point. I don't know what it was that finally made me spill. Maybe it was Sue Bob's earthiness. Maybe it was the clickety-clack of Miss Lumber's typewriter. Whatever the reason, I suddenly felt compelled to tell Sue Bob the whole sordid tale. It all started about a week ago on my birthday. It was a great day. My favorite Uncle George gave me the best gift I ever got. Galileo handheld personal computer. Galileo was a dream come true. A powerful multi-function PC that fit in the palm of my hand. It had 16 megabytes of RAM, internet access, and cute howdy froggy desktop icons that made computing fun. Hey Gretchen, don't look now, but <laughs> you've got mail. Whoa, that thing talks. Don't feel threatened, Vince. Computers are only as smart as the humans who program them. We didn't care. In fact, 
The battle of, oops, sorry, the argument they couldn't settle with words of Bunker Hill actually took place on Breed's Hill. Yep, yes, Galileo did everything. Yeah. Thanks to a sophisticated spoken word translation program that even took notes in class. Excuse me, Miss Grokey, could you repeat that last point? And this time, please, speak slowly and enunciate. Oh, well, okay. The argument they couldn't settle. Mm -hmm. Galileo even calibrated age, skill level, and frustration factors, and would let me win at chess occasionally. Checkmate! Good move, Gretchen. You finally win one! That's right. I loved a machine. Like a sister or Kai Duckle. Maybe that's sick, maybe it's twisted. But love it, I did. And then one day, everything changed. Gretchen, you're up! Excuse me, would you be so kind as to watch this for me? Sure. You go, girl! Kick it out of the park! You're out of there! <gasps> well, where? Well, where's Galileo? I don't know. Well, it's my turn to watch him. But, but yes, it was, and now it's gone! I looked at Miss Grokey's class. And I checked the PE room. Nothing. This is a nightmare. Let's go over this again. You ask the diggers. You talk to the Ashleys. You check the lost and found. You did check the lost and found, didn't you? I guess that was a no. The lost and found box, Bedlow. I need to see it now. That's not the way it works. You tell me what you lost, and I'll tell you if it's in the box. Those are the rules. What Galileo handheld PC model G55 serial number 76502? Oh yeah, spiffy little piece of tech. 300 meg chip, voice activated control, cellular email. Yes, yes, uh, that's it. Is it in there? Nope, I just like asking. I do remember seeing something like that though. Where? Dunno, my memory's a little hazy. Out with it! Okay, okay, just don't hurt me. Yesterday at recess I was watching- Medlow sang like an old guy in the shower when nobody's home. He told me who had Galileo. It's Greg Skeets, the graffiti kid. Guy who couldn't even spell computer, much less use one. Medlow told me where to find him. I don't make it a habit to slumber the Third Street School underworld, but if I wanted Galileo back, I had to hold my nose and plunge in. Nice work. Your regular day go. What'd you call me? Nothing. Listen, I seem to have misplaced my handheld computer. About yay big, matte black finish, soothing voice. Maybe you've seen it around. You mean that TV remote thing I found under the bench by the kickball field? I traded it for a stick of gum. Stupid thing didn't even work on my TV. Who? Oh, who'd you trade it to? Hey, I'm no blabbermouth. Now beat it. I'm busy. I need to write something nasty about Finster before the bell. Uh, how do you spell meaning? You know, your writing will have much more punch with the very vocabulary. Yeah, but I don't know any new words. I guess I've taken my art as far as I can go. Skeets, I'll make you a deal. You tell me who's got my computer, and I'll give you some good words to use on your wall. Words? Like what? How about nefarious? Yeah, that has a ring to it. Finster is a nefarious day guy. Thanks, Brainiac. Skeets gave me a single name, Bundy. It told me where Bundy hung out. I was about to go even deeper into the school underbelly, to a place I'd heard about but never seen. A place out of a nightmare. This is all so ugly and wrong. Excuse me, Mr. Bundy. I believe you have something that belongs to me. Dang. I said you have something that... I heard you. I ain't got nothing of nobody's. But Skeet said... Nothing of nobody's. Dang, suckers won't stick. I know this is highly unethical, but what would you say if I told you how to get those suckers as you call them to stick to the ceiling? Depends. What's the catch? A simple trade. Buy info for your info. Well, deal. But you gotta go first. Very well. See, it's really a function of viscosity or V of the formula of V over H. Viscosity who? <sighs> a little liquid soap on your paper wad mixture and you'll have this place looking like a bat cave in no time. Wow, you smart kids know some important stuff after all. Now, what about your end of the bargain? I, uh, traded your thingamajig to Kristen Curse for a bite of her pizza. Oh, you mean Curse the worst? Skids and Bundy were one thing, but Cursed, she was a force of danger. Where is she, Bundy? Where is Curse the worst? Oh. Computer. 
I don't want to give it to you, and I want it back. That piece of junk? I traded it. You can't eat a comp, you thingy. Now bug off! I'm about to enjoy an all-I-can-eat buffet, courtesy of Third Street School. But, but... You heard me blow! Go on, dangle! Maybe I should have just turned and walked away. Maybe I should have gone to the authorities and let the system do its job. Maybe I should have done a lot of things, but I did it. Before I knew it hit me, something inside me snapped. Cursed! I want my Galileo and I want it now! Oh, you do, do you? Well, that's too bad, because I handed it over to send your money! <laughs> I got Chris good a couple of times, then she blindsided me with a bowl of tapioca. When I came to my senses, she was gone. I managed to sneak out of there unseen, but by the time I was done wiping putting it out of my hair, Finster was all over me like pink on sorbet. But I don't get it. How'd Finster finger you? He wasn't so tough, girly. Gretchen here left a trail of clues a mile wide. Nefarious happens to be the word she won last year spelling me with. The viscosity of liquid soap was the subject of her blue ribbon science fair project. And finally, here's a tissue for Pete's sake. You missed a spot of tapioca on your glasses. Oh, you're smart, Grendler, but it's all book and no street. <laughs> anyway, I guess you could say I got what's coming to me. But I don't get it. You're going to take the fall for those other kids? Why? I didn't try to stop them, did I? I could have, but did it. It makes me as guilty as if I'd held the chalk, paid for wads, or put in myself. Grendler, you're all right. Here. Galileo, you had it? Yeah, I tried to curse the worst to slice a pimento loaf for it. I... I don't know what to say. Hello, Gretchen. Where have you been? You've got stacks of email. And exactly who was that who tried to take a bite out of me? Gee, Sue Bob. Thanks. Yes, sir. I see. Okay, Grundler. He'll see you now. Wish me luck. Well, well, Miss Grundler. You're the last person I would have expected to go rotten, but the facts speak for themselves. As much as it pains me, I'm afraid I must lower the boom on you. I understand, sir. First of all, you will clean up every mess you made. Secondly, you can look forward to no recess for quite some time. And thirdly... Oh, no, not again. This infernal cracker box will be the death of me. Problem, sir? Oh, my computer keeps beeping, telling me I've got email. And I can't for the life of me figure out how to read it. May I suggest having the escape key? Hey, there it is. My email. How'd you know that? Oh, you know, little thing I picked up. Any idea how to get my files to print the long way across the paper? Oh, landscape versus portrait? It's quite simple, really. Let me show you. Hey, not bad. And how about getting on the net and using my CD-ROM? And what's all this stuff about saving? It was a crazy end to a crazy story. Principal Prickly got so interested in what I was showing him on his computer, he forgot all about taking away my recess. Though I did have to clean up the messes. Still, I got Galileo back. I survived my sort of journey through the underworld. And I'm never going back there again. Hey, do you know how to program a VCR? Disney's recess will return. For the first time ever, Christmas Crunch has a fruity taste and all Christmas shapes. Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch! It's so popular, Cap needed some extra help. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Christmas Crunch is part of this balanced breakfast for a limited time. Hey! You're not the real Captain! What? Watch is evolving! Only from Christmas Crunch, you can get a Pokemon watch for $1.30 and two UPCs plus shipping and handling for a limited time. Gadget here! Wow, sir. Inspector Gadget. I'm on my way. Rated PG. Now on video and Disney DVD. Bad behavior and poor judgment are the characteristics of fetal alcohol syndrome. KMBC TV is proud to bring you this community profile. It's fetal alcohol syndrome, and it's called that because it affects the baby. You can cause damage any time that you are pregnant. It can extend past that because if you happen to be drinking and nursing, the alcohol will pass from your milk into the baby. And a lot of the experts say that you shouldn't even drink three months before you get pregnant. Syndrome implies a wide variety of symptoms, and these symptoms can be physical, 
Uh, they can be mental, but mostly with fetal alcohol syndrome, it's behavioral. These children have a lot of problems in school. And one of the biggest problems they have is with social relationships. They have rages, they have terrible ten temper tantrums. If you want a healthy baby, please do not drink when you're pregnant. This has been a Channel 9 community profile. Check me out. He's an R&B sensation and Brandy's real life brother. He's Ray J. Welcome to Mo's world, my man. And on the hit show Moesha, he's the cousin you never want to turn your back on. Excuse me, little mama. Hi. He may be living in Mo's house. Show some respect, my boy. But he's still his own boss. And he can't tell me what to do. I'm a man. Now where's my bicycle? Check out Ray J on Moesha Mondays at 8, 7 central on UPN. Now, back to Disney's Recess. Let's do it for our country. I mean, classroom. Go Team Rocky! Next event, the, the three-legged three race. That's the hundred-yard dash. The three-legged race is over there. Looks, Looks like, like Team Rocky is in trouble. <laughs> Okay, Gretchen, here comes an easy one. Burn it in here, baby. Ah, it's coming right at me! Make it stop! Make it stop! You're out! You mean I hit it? Yeah! Way to go, man! Hey, what's Mikey doing out there? I don't know. That's the way he always plays right field. Baseball, oh baseball, why art thou so fun? Be it the peanut, the hot dog, the bun? Okay, zip up your parkers, boys! I'm sending this one to Siberia! It's a monkey! It's coming your way! Nay, nay, I say. That is not all. The fun is in playing and catching the... Mikey! Sure did. Stoke and poke that batter smoke. You, you saved my life. Hey, all I did was catch the ball. It was no biggie. He saved my life. If one Earth-friendly electric car saves 235 gallons of fossil fuel every week, then 30 electric cars would save... Anyone? Anyone? Come on, people! This is our planet we're talking about! Oh, yes, Mikey, do you have the answer? No, Miss Kroki, but if it's all right, I'd like to make an announcement. Well, free expression isn't for another 20 minutes, but... Okay. <coughs> I just want to say that... Vince LaSalle saved my life! <laughs> yes, well, Vince is a fine young man. Now, where were we? Put your feet out like this, and you hold the bat up like this. And you bend your knees a little, wiggle your feet, and swing! Leave it to Vince to improve on perfection. May I have your attention, please? This is Mikey talking. I just wanted to say that Vince Ocell saved my life. He's the coolest kid in school. That is all. <laughs> Did I tell you that Vince saved my life? Yes! Wow, how could anybody be so cool? I mean, was he born that way or what? An interesting question, Mikey. The old nature versus nurture conundrum. Is Vince as cool as innate, or did he learn it along the way? You mean a guy could learn to be that cool? Well, theoretically. There he is, my hero! Vince! Wait, buddy, I want to ask you a question. Oh, hi, Mikey. I like to stay in chat, but I'm kind of in a hurry and... Here's my question. Were you born cool or did you pick it up later? Oh, come on, man. You're embarrassing me. Look, I'm just a regular guy like you, okay? Hey, guys, did you hear? Zach did his frog die and he's gonna cut him open. What are we waiting for? Wow, and he's humble, too. I want to be just like him. 
The chameleon is a lizard animal creature that has the ability to change himself to match his surroundings. He may be spotted or green or yellow with little red dots one minute, but then the next minute he can turn orange or orange brown or orange brown with stripes or orange brown with no stripes or yellowish pink with spots or yellow green or green yellow or no green at all or back to all green or yellow with red dots or whatever. No! Yes, the chameleon is an amazing lizard animal creature. He is indeed one of nature's greatest oddities. <laughs> Stance. Wow, it works! Run, you big lummox, run! Stoke and poke that ball of smoke! Huh? I'm telling you guys, he's doing everything I do. He's become a total copycat. Oh, come on. He's just trying out a couple of your moves. As they say, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. No, you guys don't understand. It's gone way beyond that. The guy's still in my heat. Trust me, Vince. You're overreacting. Oh, yeah? Well, check this out. <gasps> They never should have traded Ella to Sensei. Uh oh. Good job, Mikey! Oh, no, you're the best, Mikey! It's all in the wrist, my peeps. Okay, Vince, you were right. Yeah, you gotta stop this thing. But how? Well, perhaps you could reason with him. Yeah, talk to the guy. He's your friend. Well, it's worth a try. Good job! Mikey, can I get a word? Sure, man. So, Vince, what's up? Well, I don't know how to say this, Mikey, but you gotta stop copying me. I mean, it was flattery at first, but come on. I hear you, man. It sounds like you're feeling robbed, like I'm crowding your zone, stealing your moves, leaning too hard on the big V. That's it, on the nose. You know what you need, man? You need a little quality time alone, a little one-on-one -on -one with a Vince Meister. Because when I'm around, you can't be yourself, and it's driving you nuts. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Don't forget. It's you, man. It's you. Okay, let's play some ball! Uh, what just happened here? I don't know, but he owns the top of the key. <sighs> yeah! Hey, Mikey, you up for a little game of dodgeball? You know it. Yay, Mikey! Oh, yeah, dodgeball? That used to be my game. <laughs> It used to be Vince, Vince, Vince. Hey, mister, get off my swing! Oh, man, what a day. Well, maybe things will look better in the morning. I mean, they can't look any worse. <laughs> Day. Hey, somebody switched my shoes, and they got them three sizes too big. And hey, somebody's been wearing my shirt, and they stretched it all out of shape, and... Oh, no. Somebody's been using my glove, and they wrote poetry all over it. Hey, Mom! Mom, somebody's been... <gasps> Dude, pull up a chair and make yourself at home. Ah! What's eating him? This can't be happening. This can't be happening. This can't be. Hi, guy. No! <sighs> That's it. Tomorrow morning, I'm getting my life back. One way or another. Hey, 
Mikey, we really need to talk to you about this Vince thing. Sure, but first you guys want to see my new kicking technique? All you gotta do is step, step, and huh? Hi guys! Vince, what are you doing? Eating? Want a winger dinger? Whoa, wait, time out! What's going on, man? I mean, where's the jersey? Where's the snakes? That's enough. I gave it up. I'm tossing aside the life of the body in order to pursue the life of the heart. Hey, you can't do that! You're being like me! Oh, kindred spirit, must there be but one? Quit it! Or aren't we all wieners in this great cosmic bun? Stop that! Say, you ever wonder how they get the white stuff in the middle of these things? <laughs> What's eating him? <gasps> Mikey, you hiding in the stall again? Go away! Don't be upset, Mikey. I was just copying you to make a point. Yeah, well, you made it. You're cool and I'm not. Oh, come on, Mikey. What is cool anyway? Being able to hit a ball into outer space. Mikey, that's just something I'm good at. Think of all the stuff you're good at. I mean, you write poems better than any kid I know. They even rhyme. Which, by the way, is a lot harder than I thought. If Mom hadn't made hot dogs last night, I would have never come up with a cosmic bun. You needed props to rhyme one with bun? Don't rub it in. <sighs> Look, man, you got your style and I got mine. What makes a person cool is when they know their style and don't care what anybody else thinks about it. You know, I gotta admit, I kinda miss noticing the beauty all around me. That's because this is you, and that is me. I know. But it sure was fun while it lasted. Yeah, well, it was pretty fun being you too. Now come on, let's get to class before Miss Grokey gives us both targets. It's a deal, pal. Actually, this is kind of a relief. Your underwear is a little restricted. That's more than I needed to know, my The alfalfa that chalked us, the oil in my glove. These are the things that remind me of... Um... Uh-oh. Disney's Recess will be right back. Ronald, I think I have a rock in my shoe. Hmm, let me see. Hmm? <laughs> I am hungry. <gasps> yep, there was a rock. <laughs> Hamburger, this is Small Fry. Roger, Small Fry. McDonald's now has 20 toys from Disney and Pixar's Toy Story 2. There's one of either Woody, Jesse, or the rest of the gang in every Happy Meal. Potato Head, you're there too! Ooh. Did somebody say McDonald's? Get ready for all the stars on United State of Dance. Party with 17 slamming dance hits on one incredible album. United State of Dance featuring the best in dance today. The dance hits you need together on one album. United State of Dance. Order your copy now. Get down with 17 slamming tracks. The hottest music on the hottest album. United State of Dance. To order United State of Dance, call the number on your screen or send $17.98 for CD or $15.98 for cassette. Plus shipping and handling to the address shown. Rush delivery available. Do it again. So call now. Hey kids, what's green? Has 12 legs, six tails, glasses, a pencil, a pillow, and an attitude. You got a bobbin' gut! Give up? Is it bigger than a bread box? It's Pocket Dragon Adventures. Uh, I need that. Pocket Dragon Adventures. Right here on this station. Weekday mornings at 9 on KC29. Moesha's Countess Vaughn has her own series and her own chat room. I already got my name. Chocolate Delight. The Parkers <laughs> after Moesha UPN Monday. Now let's get back to Disney's Recess. 
You can do it, Mikey. I can do it. Ow! Just one day where I didn't get hit on the head by a stray kickball. Forget the Sunday funnies. Come on! Nothing's funnier on Sundays than Disney's One Two. There's Recess, Doug, and Sabrina the Animated Series. They like it. All your favorites, all together. This is gonna be great. Disney's One Two is turning Sunday into Fun Day. <laughs> Inspired by Disney and Pixar's Toy Story 2. Four delicious white chocolatey bars zapped with colorful crispies. With free stickers that glow in the dark. I'm officially freaked out now. And you can get the Toy Story 2 Sweet Tarts Toy Keeper. Tangy Sweet Tarts candy shaped like Woody Rex, Buzz, and Ham. Yeah. All inside a cool collectible dispenser. The Sweet Tarts Toy Keeper and Buzz like your bars from Nestle. We're the breakfast crew and we say new Pop-Tart snack sticks make life a snack. We get dressed in a snap, get answers in a snap, and make snap decisions. Like, we want new snack sticks from Pop-Tart. They snap apart so you can share them. And the taste makes a snap to attention. Graham crust outside, real fruit inside. More, Jeeves, and make it snappy. To the crew, Pop-Tart snack sticks rule. Dear Sinclair, I got a problemo. Sometimes my friends are totally whack. Whoa, whoa, whoa! They're always acting strange. Yeah, tell! Yeah, tell! They think I'm a space case. I'm drawing a blank. And the boys I know are weird. Oh, hold tight, shorty. Help, lost in Boston. Honey, join the club. Living Single, now delivered five days a week. Weekday afternoons at 3.30 on KC29. Next! I'm Beekman, and you've just broken into Beekman's World. And it goes something like this. It's time to blast your brainwaves. You ask, I answer. Is it true that all things fall at the same rate? <laughs> Is that some using? <laughs> I practice safe science. Get on the phone and tell everybody you know. Weekday mornings at 9.30 on KC29. Ha! <laughs> 